My name is Dr. Tara Gastillo, and I'm a physician at Hennepin Healthcare System in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I am now taking legal action against Hennepin Healthcare System due to my deep concern regarding the direction the institution is now taking and how it may affect the care given to our patients. I'm a graduate of Harvard University and Mayo Clinic Medical School, and until recently, I served as chair of the Obstetrics and Gynecology Department. Under my leadership, my department improved our patient satisfaction scores and connected our hospital's diverse population to the care that they needed. I'm honored to report that personally, I have one of the highest patient satisfaction ratings of all the doctors at Hennepin Healthcare and in the nation. However, despite all of these accomplishments, I was recently demoted because of my personal beliefs. It all began last summer after the murder of George Floyd. As a biracial woman with multiracial children, I was worried for our well-being and that of our community. In my personal social media post, I began to express my concern with the disparities we saw between racial groups. I also began to highlight a growing willingness to vilify people and groups for their ideas and philosophies. Some of my colleagues saw my post and decided that I was no longer fit to be chair of the department. Specifically, they contended that my opposition to the growing racial essentialist philosophy could potentially cause patients to mistrust our department, create division amongst staff, and reflect negatively on the hospital. For years, I've been working to create a more holistic, multicultural, and inclusive care environment. For instance, a few years ago, I helped spearhead an initiative to help understand the birthing traditions and needs of our pregnant patients from different cultures. Within the last couple of years, however, the goals seemed to change and the program began to morph from one of multicultural care to instead one of segregated care. For example, black caregivers providing care for black patients. Now why would people claiming to fight racism want segregation? After the death of George Floyd, I sought to foster tolerance and create a space for all. My colleagues and I desired to send a letter from our entire department to support our diverse patient population. I was fully supportive of this endeavor until they wanted to include in the letter that we shared their unrest. I asked that the word unrest be removed as I feared it would be interpreted as supporting or encouraging violence. While I was successful in having the word removed, my colleagues resented my insistence that we all agree and feel comfortable with the wording of the letter. In response to my position that equal treatment and individual respect serve as a solution to racism, my colleagues, human resources, and my superiors accused me of being racist, of having a mental breakdown, and of being unfit and unable to lead my team and manage my department. As a public institution, my employer knew it was illegal to punish me for exercising my First Amendment rights. And so instead, they lied about my performance to burn my professional reputation and get rid of me that way. They claimed that I was late to meetings, had poor communication skills, and was generally unfit to serve as chair. I oversaw the OBGYN department for six years without any of these complaints ever being made before. After I pushed back on their pretextual reasons for my demotion, a human resources manager finally admitted to me that my beliefs were the reason for my removal. Throughout my entire career, I have been dedicated to serving all who need care, from my time on the Navajo Reservation in Chinle, Arizona, to serving our diverse patients in the heart of downtown Minneapolis. I advocate for equality for all individuals, and I refuse to allow an ideology that seeks to divide us based on immutable characteristics to enter my profession or interfere with my duty as a doctor to heal all who are in need of healing. Please join me in standing up for a pro-human medical profession at fearforall.org.